Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I'm the Book Geek, also known as Kiava, and this is my reaction to episode 6 of season 11 of The Walking Dead on the inside. This is a Connie episode. You motherfuckers better not hurt Connie. If something happens to Connie, I am going to rage. You will never hear the end of it. If something happens to Connie, I mean that shit. Okay, we gotta have some black people survive this final season. <laughs> Let's get started. Who y'all running from? They gonna go to the fucking house. We should have went with Connie's fucking plan and just kept running. She's never been wrong. Always listen to Connie. <laughs> Don't go to that fucking house. We don't know what the fuck is in there. It's gonna be a fucking house of horrors. Ah! And she got to be stuck with Barbie's punk ass. Come on, Virgil, you fucking punk. This is a straight horror movie status. It might be a house. Okay. And y'all might be trapped in this motherfucker now. Why is she the only one holding the door back? I can't stand Bert. I can't stand him. He's such a wet. Uh, this looks like that house with the crawling walkers from the trailer. Oh. Shit. She having flashbacks from the fucking cave. Goddamn Carol. Tell us where they are. You ever been off fingernails? Come on! We're friends now. No, not because we're friends. Because I'm the one holding the knife. Just give him a fake location. Ah! 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 No! Go to hell, ass. Ah! Ah! Why I gotta show it? <laughs> This goddamn predator music they've been using. I hear it. I don't like this. I love how we're not hearing anything. This is crazy. the hell? Wake your dumb ass up! Wait, what happened? Slow, slow down. I don't understand. Can't you see her mannerisms though? Don't she look panicked? It doesn't matter if you don't understand. There's something fucking wrong. I mean, body language. We don't have time for this writing shit. We gotta get the fuck out of this house! Grab one of them fucking antlers off the wall! What to say? Not alone? Not alone! Is it just because she's just been awake for days and she's starting to hallucinate? Or is somebody really in the house? And if so, you slept. we need to get the fuck out of here. So maybe it's... It, yeah, cause... I don't, I don't, no, I don't think she's hallucinating. I think they want us to think that that's what's going on because she hasn't slept. Let's give the house another sweep. I'm not staying here. <laughs> I like how they're doing this with the sound. Um, just taking all sound away so we kind of like hear what she's hearing. It's 
fucking house of horrors. Oh my god, something. I saw something. You can use bones as weapons. Pick up one of them bones. Find a sharp piece. We got some cannibalism going on. That felt like more than one person. This is a straight up horror movie. It's like some people wanted to stay as shit. Oh my god, no, it's Connie, you fucking idiot! She's tapping out a beat. He's so stupid. Oh my god, behind you! Ah! What the hell is going on? She can't say anything. Behind you! Motherfucker running around the house looking like Tarzan. <laughs> Connie, just walk away from him because he's stupid. Why are you doing that? But don't you have common sense? He has none. I can't stand him. I cannot stand him. I need you to promise me that you will keep going. No matter what happens. Connie. She's so wonderful. She's not gonna let you give up. Fuck, how many of those goddamn things are in there? This really is like some people under the stairs shit. This motherfucker jumped from the <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. Is this the descent? Can't tell who the fucking cannibals and who's the walkers. Yes, 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 yes. Just in the nigga time. Oh my god. Oh, is this? Is your sister? We still are not out of the clear here, people. We gotta get to safety, okay? Can we get to safety and then do the hugs and kisses? <laughs> what are you sorry about? I don't feel safe. I still don't feel safe here. Finally! Oh, my heart, my heart. After you left, I continued the discussion with our guest. Uh oh. What? What? Shit. Shit. Is he a walker? 
Oh, they killed him. What did he say? We don't know what he said. Daryl, you ain't safe here. You got to get away from these psychos. Okay, well, that was a straight up horror movie. Um, and I loved it. <laughs> um, I really got scary movie vibes from this episode. I loved how in certain scenes um, with Connie and Virgil in the house, we got total quietness uh, when the scene was focusing on Connie. So it was like we were going through exactly what she was going through. We were hearing exactly what she was hearing, which is nothing. And that is terrifying because you can't hear when something is approaching, when danger is approaching. Um, but you know, she still can feel and things of that nature. Um, Connie, wow. She's a better person than me because I probably would have ran out and left Virgil's ass. Um, but you know, it's, it, it says a lot about her character because if I'm not mistaken, in the early days when we first met her, I think they mentioned something about her being like an activist or something like that. So it would make sense that she doesn't leave anybody behind, that she cares about people the way that she does. Um, and that it would explain why her heart is the way it is, why she's so kind and she's a fighter, but she, she, she also has a, some softness to her. And I think that has a lot to do with, you know, who she was before the apocalypse. Um, Daryl, I'm wondering if Frost gave Daryl up. I think Daryl needs to get the fuck away from these people, far away from these people. He was very clever um, in the scenes when he was saying things out loud. Oh, you got 20 people and things like that because he knew Maggie and them was listening. And so he was saying these, these details about Pope's group out loud um, in such a way to where it wouldn't seem suspicious as if he was just having this conversation with this guy, but he was really giving information to Maggie and the group that was hiding underneath. That was fucking brilliant. I'm wondering if Virgil's gonna make it. He's severely injured, but um, he has information on Rick and he has information on Michonne. So I would like for him to live long enough to tell somebody at Alexandria this information. Um, and if Daryl find this information out, what his reaction is going to be and what his next step is going to be. I also want to see a Connie and Daryl reunion. Okay. Um, and I hope Leah and her stupid ass group don't stand in the way of that. Please keep Leah's ass far the fuck away from Connie. I'm so glad that, uh, Kelly has her sister back. And, uh, I would like to see, um, what Connie and Carol's, um, interaction will be, um, you know, after the hugs and the kisses and what's going to be said there. I'm sure Carol's going to, uh, apologize. And, um, with the way Connie is, I'm sure she's going to understand, but, um, yeah, I'm interested to see that interaction there. I think that's all I really have to say about this episode. It was a great episode. Um, I'm just so happy to see Connie. I'm just so happy to see her. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications so you know each time I post. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.